Automation Edge is building delightful workplace experiences with its robotic process automation, IT process automation, hyper automation, and conversational AI platforms. In this video, I will showcase how to generate Google Drive credentials for use in the Automation Edge's Google Drive plugin steps. We will generate the Google Drive credentials in three steps. First, we will log in with the Google Drive Developers Console and enable the APIs for Google Drive. Second, we will generate the client ID and client secret. And thirdly, we will generate the refresh token in exchange for client ID and client secret. Let us see the steps one by one. First, let us enable the APIs for Google Drive. First, let us navigate to the Google Developers Console that is console.developers.google.com. Create an account if required. We need to log into the Google Developers Console. We will begin with creating a new project in Google Drive Developers Console. As you can see, a project is already selected in the list. You can use the existing project or you can click on the drop down list and click New Project to create a new project. Provide a project name. Let me say My Google Drive App. In the location, you can browse for a location. We will leave it to the default no organization and click create. Your project is created. You can now select your project from the drop down list. In the project, click enable APIs and services. To enable APIs, search for the Google Drive API. Click on the tile for the Google Drive API and click enable. As you can see, the Google Drive API is now enabled. This completes the first step. Next, let us generate the client ID and client secret. To get the client ID and the client secret, click on the OAuth consent screen menu on the left navigation. It shows the OAuth consent screen. You need to choose the user type, internal or external. Now, since I'm not a Google Workspace user, I don't have a dedicated domain. Hence, I will choose the user type as external which is available to any test user with a Google account. Click Create. Now enter the app registration details. Provide an app name. I will provide an app name, My Google Drive app. In the support email, I'll put my Google account. I will leave the app logo blank. For security purposes, Google only allows apps using OAuth to use authorized domains. The app domain information is optional. For now, let me go to the next section that is authorized domains and let me add an authorized domain, automationedge.com. Next, enter the developer contact information. I have entered my email address. On the next screen, you need to set the scope. Search for Google Drive API and check on the Google Drive API authorization for Drive, Auth Drive to see, edit, create, and delete all of your Google Drive files. At this point, I recommend you also refer the Automation Edge plugin documentation. That is the Automation Edge plugin reference guides. In particular, the reference guide number three for IT and advanced plugins, also known as the advanced plugin reference guide. In the document, you can refer to the scopes required for a particular plugin, and you can also View the individual plugin steps for any additional scopes. You can get the plugin documentation in the help for the individual plugin steps in Process Studio. Let us have a look. I'm in Process Studio. On the left navigation, you can see the Google Drive plugin with all the steps. On the right is a workflow containing the Google Drive copy file plugin step. Let us open the configurations, double click on the step. On the top right corner, you can see the help. Click the help to see the entire plugin documentation and it opens at the specific plugin step. Let us click. As you can see, the Google Drive copy file documentation. If you scroll up, you can see the entire plugin documentation, including all the steps and an appendix. Now, In the appendix, you can see the steps to generate Google Drive credentials. Make sure you see the common appendix as well as individual steps for any specific information. Let us close the configuration. Secondly, if you have access to the Automation Edge on-demand cloud instance, 
You can also get the plugin guides from the resources menu. In the guides tab, you can download the advanced plugins reference guide. Let us go back to the OAuth consent screen and continue the process of generating Google Drive credentials. Update the information. On the next screen, you can add your test users. Only test users will be able to access the app. Click on the add users button. I've entered a username. And finally, on the summary page, you can review the details. You can go back to the dashboard. I will click on the create credentials link at the top of the page and select OAuth client ID, the second option from the list. Next, you need to select the application type. I will select web application. Next, you need to enter a name for your web application. Let me call it Google Drive client. Next, we will add the authorized redirect to URLs in which we will provide the URL of the Google Playground. As you can see, provide the authorized redirect URI. That is https colon slash slash developers.google.com slash OAuth playground. Make sure there is no slash at the end. Click save. The OAuth client is now created and you can get the client ID and the client secret. You can also click on download JSON to download the credentials. Thirdly, let us generate the refresh token in exchange for the client ID and client secret. Navigate to the Google OAuth playground that is developers.google.com slash OAuth playground. Click on the settings wheel or icon on the top right. Check the use your own OAuth credentials. Enter the OAuth client ID and OAuth client secret that we generated earlier. On the first, select and authorize API section. Search for your API. You can navigate using the right scroll bar or if the scroll bar is too fast, select an API starting with D and then use the down arrow key to locate the Drive API v3. From the Drive API v3 list, select the googleapis.com slash auth slash drive. Click on the Authorize APIs button. It displays the sign in with Google window. Choose the account to log in. It shows a consent screen. Google OAuth 2.0 Playground wants to access your Google account. Click Allow. On the following consent screen, click Continue. On the second section, Exchange Authorization Code for Tokens. Click on the Exchange Authorization Code for Tokens button to generate the refresh token. Copy the refresh token. Now you can use the Client ID, Client Secret and Refresh token for your Google Drive plugin steps. Let us now test the generated credentials. I'm in Process Studio. I have created a workflow with the start and the Google Drive copy file plugin step. Let us check the configurations of the Google Drive step. I have provided the values of the client ID, client secret and the refresh token. And to copy the file, I have provided the source file ID and the destination folder ID on Google Drive and I have provided a name in the file name after copy that is the renamed file and in the output tab I have configured an output field to store the file ID of the newly copied file. Let us execute the workflow. The workflow execution is complete. Let us click on the preview button. It has generated an output field with the ID of the newly copied file. Now let us check the destination folder. It has copied the file correctly with the renamed file name. Let us recap. We saw how to generate Google Drive credentials with the requisite scope and user permissions for use in the Automation Edge's Google Drive plugin steps. You can now use the Google Drive credentials in the Automation Edge's Google Drive plugin steps to perform operations on your Google Drive account.